Tech Cocktail, delivering happiness at South by Southwest. I'm really excited to be joined by Gretchen Rubin of the Happiness Project. Can you can you share a little bit about what the Happiness Project is all about, Gretchen? Well, the Happiness Project is I have a book and a blog, and my book is an account of the year that I spent test driving the wisdom of the ages, the current scientific studies, and the lessons from popular culture about how to be happier. And on my blog, I write about my daily adventures in pursuit of happiness. Every day, I'm inspired really by my subject. I write about happiness, and the thing about ha happiness is it's endlessly fascinating. I can write about relationships, write about exercise, clutter, spirituality, time management, everything. So the minute I get tired of one subject, I can turn to the next, and every day it's fascinating. Winston Churchill. I wrote a biography of Winston Churchill, and the thing about Churchill is that he was so persistent, and he was always optimistic, and he was such a brilliant man, a brilliant thinker, and so whenever I'm feeling dejected or I need a little bit of encouragement, I always think about Winston Churchill. I went to the Whitney Museum and saw a, a piece of art on their permanent exhibition, Charles Simmons' Dwellings, and I just became obsessed this week with miniature scenes, art that's miniature scenes, and it turns out there's a whole tiny, vibrant, art community that produces these miniature scenes and I just can't get enough of it. It's just beyond clear that the ability of people to engage with each other through Facebook, through Twitter, through Foursquare and Guala, through all these ways, it's just it, the transaction cost of connecting with people is dropping and the way to have conversations is just rising and everyone's trying to get a grip on what that means for what it, what it is they do as their core business. One of the things is people only have so much attention and so one, it's exciting to be part of all these networks and to be responsive but one of the things I found is that if you make being too accessible can make it hard to connect with people. One of the things that makes people unhappy is a feeling that they're hunted or that they can't turn their cell phone off because they're going to miss something. Um, but on the other hand, they hate being away from their cell phone. So it's, it, we love it, we hate it. It's a great servant but a bad master. The Happiness Project is my fifth book and I, did, I had other books that didn't succeed at the level that I wanted them to and I spent a lot of time thinking about well, why was that? And I, I feel like it's sort of such a cliche to say that you can turn failure into success by just learning from it. But I feel like if I, by that experience taught me what I could do with all the tools. And when the internet allowed me to connect with readers, I realized how valuable it could be and how much I could gain from it by finding my audience in advance of my book coming out. And so the, the disappointments that I experienced in the past really helped me in the present. If you want to be a writer, you have to be writing and every single day you should be writing or at least going over your notes or thinking about your project. It's fun to think about it and it can be hard to just like get your rear end in the seat but that is the biggest challenge is just getting the writing done.